interesting little pieces of history. Leucippus and Democritus. These guys lived a long time ago. Leucippus was 5th century BC and Democritus was back there too, 460 to 370 BC. They recorded the first ideas of the concept of atoms, and in fact the name atom comes from them. Democritus suggested that if you take a piece of matter and cut it in half, and take half of it and cut it in half, and take half of that and cut it in half, and you just keep doing that, what would happen? Eventually, he says, you'd get down to a particle that you could not cut in half, a tiny indestructible particle. And he called those atomos, which is from the Greek word meaning indivisible. So indivisible particles. Sadly, other people did not accept the ideas of these two men. Um, Aristotle and Plato, you've probably heard of. You probably haven't heard of Leucippus and Democritus. Aristotle and Plato said, no, that's not right. You can just keep dividing matter infinitely and there's four elements, earth, wind, air, and fire. Way to set science back, guys. <laughs> so 2,000 years later, over 2,000 years later, in 1808, this idea of the atom comes up again with scientific evidence. So John Dalton proposed his atomic theory based on observation and experimentation. Leucippus and Democritus were philosophers. They sat around and thought about things. And they were right, but they had no evidence to prove it to anybody else. So the atomic theory says that each element is composed of tiny indestructible particles called atoms. Now we'll find out that there is something about that statement that's not absolutely true, um, and so we have to modify the statement. Um, two, all atoms of a given element have the same mass and other properties that distinguish them from the atoms of other elements. We have also learned something that need, causes us to modify that. Three, atoms combine in simple whole number ratios to form compounds. That is still completely true to this day. These were true based on the evidence that they had at the time. The theory has been tested and modified since then. And I will try to remember to mention those when we get to them. But this was a big, big deal in 1808. We have evidence for the atomic theory. Uh, scanning tunneling microscopes. I believe I mentioned those, I think, in Chapter 3. So at IBM, some scientists, uh, apparently with a little extra time on their hands, um, were moving around some xenon atoms and spelled out IBM with atoms. Um, the cone shape is, is due to the nature of the instrument. Uh, really, we believe atoms are actually spherical. But we, ha we can have these images of the individual atoms, even though they're far too small to be seen with any sort of an optical microscope. 